morning, Ian. Morning. Morning, Willie. You all right? The school is full at this time, you don't realise it. I used to, when I first came here, they never used to come in until about eight o'clock, and I used to get very nervous. I think about, we're opening in half an hour, there's nobody here, what's happening? But now lots of people just come early because it's quiet and you can do a lot of the work. This is stage four. Yeah. Stage five. Mm -hmm. In the room, Tracer one. Yeah. Connie two, is that a reminder? I think you shouldn't take yourself too seriously because there's a lot of people to contribute and I certainly don't lead this school on my own, far from it. Uh, did you hear that, that incident that happened yesterday? Was that my boys? That was your boys. What did they do? Can you just remind us? Uh, they they gone them. into one of the hygiene rooms, the one where the disabled kids have all their toiletries, obviously for a smoke or whatever. They'd broken the door <coughs> to get in, first of all, so they just pulled it. And then they proceeded to trash the room. Yeah, because I put them on the on-call log, but I didn't, because I put yeah, punishment no, I, so I, I know what I wanted to do. Some sort of, cause they did the cleaning. So I need to think what else in terms of community service. Uh, what about them doing something in breakfast club? You know, for the disabled, that would take them out of a lesson. But they need to meet some of those kids and be a bit more involved in them. Stop some smoking. They won't yeah. be able to smoke then as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Well, I think you lot should I've be start, it should be leading the way, actually, because some of my team are smokers and let us all down. <laughs> are you still talking? Personal <laughs> things now. Let's go. We're very much a people organisation and we value people here for what they contribute, not for their status. Some of the best work that we have done here are people who often come to us with no qualifications. No mornings this morning. We take great pride really in developing them, developing their potential. And I think breakfast is. That's really what leadership is about. It means I don't do everything, but it's about empowering other people to do it. If there's a hundred children running around the school, they're, they're just muck about. So if they come in for breakfast, they have to stay till 8.30. And they do try and run out, but if we catch them, then they're banned for two days or a week. You know, and they will beg sometimes to come back, but we don't always give a chance. Depends on the child, you know. Tuesday, week two, visitors today are, um, we've got two visitors from a school in Northern Ireland to look at integration and specialist schools coming in. Uh, we've got year eight assembly in the activities hall. Any tutors still here, if you can make your way up there. In my day, I certainly never thought of being a head teacher because there were always men, you know, doing really high powered academic things inside closed doors. To all staff, Jordan My governors took a risk with me. I was a first woman head. And as such, when they phoned me, to say I had the job. I said, are you sure? I know my name is Kenny, but I'm actually a woman, you know. I really thought they'd made a mistake. Year 10 court final game today starts at one o'clock, so their names are up on the board. Is there any problem they're even playing? Please let me know. Please wish them luck as well. Very important. Yeah, just to remind all staff that drugs really, any drugs related incident must be recorded on this. It's on a, on a form here, and it's kept in the bottom right pigeonhole here. Hurry up, please. Come on. Right, Jay, why you've got the tracksuit on? I think here I've got something about 130 members of support staff and they're all local people. Lots of mums, lots of mums of kids in the school um, and they're our greatest ambassadors to the community. To jumpers, they're multi jumpers, get on my nerves. Hurry up please, come on you're late. How many behind you left? We realise that we're a, a wasted resource, that so we're the dinner ladies and we train and we develop them and the kids have tremendous respect for them as indeed we do. We've had to deal with racial violence, gang violence, you name it, we've dealt with it. A school like this is always fragile. And you have to all the time be one step ahead, anticipating what might happen. Are you all right? Are you after me? No, I'm just... Want some tea? Yeah. Come on, then, just push your way past. The teacher making the tea, washing the cups first. Well done. Come on, trainee. No. <laughs> she bows and everything. I used to work, immediately uh, previous to this, I worked for a local authority in the advisory service. And as such, I went to a number of schools and saw a number of different headship styles. 
and um, I have three children and I just didn't think that I could cope because of the focus and the commitment. But actually, in this school, where the, the leadership is really distributed and not just delegated, it's actually distributed, it is possible to see that you can do that. I suppose I've been about being able to let go a bit. Yeah. And some days it's hard. It is hard it is when things very, are... Very we hard. deal with some difficult situations and it is hard and you have to be able to pick yourself up. Um, and be able to get over that, you know, and not, I don't know, not let it affect, I don't know, yeah. Uh, but having other people with you to talk it through yeah. really helps, doesn't it? So I think the idea of the solitary head, as you can see, nothing solitary here, there's nothing solitary here, is there? Here's my bad boys, come on. In you come. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you up to breakfast club yeah. to meet where some of these youngsters are. I'm then going to send you back, you're going to work there today. You're going to come back to me with your timetable because you're going to be working in that breakfast club on a number of mornings so you get to know the youngsters that you've actually caused damage to and you're going to do some um, dinner times and break times oh. in the haven. Uh, Saeed, you just think yourself lucky, young man, that you're still here. One thing about this place, I like to think, is that sort of human approach and try not to be shouting and aggressive. Come on. Let's go. Because our kids' way of reacting is to be aggressive and to mm. hit out, isn't yeah. it? And they'll have an argument with you over what day of the week it is or, what you know, anything. Yeah. So we don't go down that route. Because if you back our kids into a corner, they'll hit yeah. you. Oh. Yeah. How are we all? Bye. Bye. Good. Who cooked this morning? Uh, yeah. Are they good cooks? <laughs> Yes, did you cook? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? What did you cook? Uh, um, toast. Excellent. I like burnt toast. <laughs> now, I want you to get to know these people. So I'm going to look at your time to see what lessons you can miss. And you're going to be working in, working in breakfast club, doing the serving and actually helping. Yes, you think that's a good idea? Yes. Uh, we'll do some lunchtime sessions and break time sessions in the Haven. All right. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Cleaning. That's good because he's obviously good. His hands are destroyed with bleach. So one shame. <laughs> I'm really sorry. No, it's my fault. I know. Hello. Jack, come back. No. Come on. Come on. We use the supervisors to make sure that the pupils are in the right place at the right time. If we've got pupils out of lessons, it could be because they want to start a, some sort of argument with other pupils, they've got a disagreement, they can incite some sort of riot. Sometimes it does happen, but most of the time, because we've got supervisors, and there's always a friendly face, which isn't just for the pupils, and I need to make sure that you realise that it's for us as well. We can step outside of our room, and if we need help, there's someone in red for us. Hello? Yeah? 725. All right, bye. I'll go up to 725. Right. Yeah, come on in. Come on over to the pupil there. Somebody's going to come and collect him in a minute, so we'll, we'll just ignore him. Right, I'll tell you... Um, I'll tell you what our specialism and why we went to, because I wasn't very keen on the whole specialist thing. Um, <laughs> So we decided, when the Humanities one came out, we decided that could really suit our purpose. So we went for English, but it's actually language and literacy across the school. Um, it's citizenship, which is really important. Are you going for citizenship? Well, it's slightly different in our, uh, in our system where you're only given one particular area. Oh. Um, but we were thinking of actually including it because we're an integrated school. So I think it, citizenship <coughs> is our life's breath here. Mm -hmm. It is the thing that can either... Come and take this young man for me. Yes. Now, Jabs, come, actually, before you do, come and meet these people from Northern Ireland, because mm -hmm. Jabs is the person who organised the trip to... I think you mentioned. I did, yeah. I always get, he always gets yeah. mentioned. You've seen pictures of him. He's famous. I'm going to show you that picture in a book we've just been written about. One more word of shaving there and I'll... Yeah. Jabir worked for the sports team as a part-time sports leader. He, you know, as he would say himself, he used to be a local youth, get into all sorts of trouble, um, and didn't do very well at school. Um, and we saw he was absolutely fantastic working with the kids, had a very nice manner about him. And we asked if we wanted to do some conflict resolution training. Yeah. Try and talk some sense into him, Jabs, please. Because we're going to come to blows. All right, I'll leave them, I'll leave them to you. Thank you for that one. Thank you. People here are used to sorting things out for themselves, never trust anybody in authority. Head teachers, 
police officers, social workers. Uh oh, they hate social workers. Any of that nature. So that's what we've said. Well, actually, if you want everyone to be safe, we all have to work together. It's part of the Every Child Matters agenda. That's what we do. Excuse me. Hi. Miss May, come here, young man. We have a very needy population. You know, our kids need a lot of one-to-one -one work, a lot of support. It's Good about learning. building the social capital as well. Yes, it? yes. You know, because we, yeah. want, we want the community out there mm. to be able to resolve some of its own difficulties and not, not to depend on professionals. Yes, so, yeah. so the more we can do in terms of providing self-esteem and confidence and skills development for the local population. So local people will run the schools. That's really the way it should be, I think. Hurry up. Come on, girls, please, hurry up. Recognise. Government. Interesting. Who wants to get out of here spelled? I don't know. I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T-I-N-G. Excellent. Everybody got that right? Lessons, be good. I don't want to see you for a long time. I should be it now. Should be all quiet. Bradley, what are you doing? Take your dog, please. Why are you wandering? Here you go. How about doing it half and half? How about doing it half and half? So she can do it. Because I've got sort of management speed, so. <laughs> To do headship well, you have to really believe in what you're doing. You have to really um, be passionate about it. And you have to see it as a sense of excitement, because it does take over your life. But if you enjoy it, well, that's good. I do worry sometimes that the powers that be, whoever appointing head teachers sometimes, are looking for the wrong things, are sometimes looking for systems people. It's not about systems, it's actually about people and getting the best out of people. They was both oh, getting ready to run out of school, so I growled at them and they run back in. Put in there any subject that you're not doing, if you do that one. Why did you do it, Said? Explain to me. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. But you don't do that at home, do you? No. It's a kill you, isn't it? Biology, just biology, chemistry, just chemistry. One of these, two exams, and you do practicals. Theory? Theory. Well, theory will be now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that to them, they get very upset when yeah. they say no. that. We feel things here, it's a very feeling school, a lot of gut reaction. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel it everywhere you go. That isn't the case in, in some schools. So. All right, team, you can go home now. You are dismissed. Go home, get lost, out of my school. I'll be around all day.